to Crazy Times, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One. Start the timer. It's started. 10 minutes or less. TNT. Yeah. So, Travis Kelsey, famous football player from uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. He's actually from Ohio. Okay. I think he's from like Cuyahoga Heights or something like or something like that. All right. I don't, know, I don't know this. You don't know him? No, I don't know the story. Hmm. So, he was dating a girl for quite a long time. Five years, okay. and they recently broke up. Um, and the rumor came out Uh-oh. that she broke up with him, or he broke up with her, or she broke up with him. I'm not exactly sure. Probably she broke up with him because he kept making her pay for half of everything. <laughs> what? Because he uh, and he didn't deny that that wasn't true. He. He said, basically, and I think I think I would almost have the same mindset. Like, if I was super rich, I'd be like, okay, you want to be with me? That's fine. Let's split the cost of stuff for a while. Maybe not five years. Yeah. So, so because, yeah. like, okay, anybody can pretend they're not in it for the money for a short amount of time, yeah, right? A yeah, couple yeah. months. But if you date someone and you're like, no, we're going to date, like, until we get, once we get married, if we ever get married, I'll cover everything because I'm rich as hell. Until we get married, Mm-mm. and then and then you they show that like they actually want to be with you and like whatever like but you can't put up that facade for like five years if you're not in it for not the money. I I, I can't co-sign this behavior. This is insanity. That's How long, insanity. So if you so if people knew you had eighty million dollars, yeah, and, and you, of course were, all were, hot girls are going to come out of the woodwork, right? Exactly. So I mean, how would you how would you regulate who isn't just in it to take your money? Okay, so. Look, I can understand going Dutch. That's 100%. If you go on a date with somebody, you should definitely think as a man, as a woman, that you are going to pay half of your, or at least your portion of the bill. Nothing is guaranteed. Nobody owes you anything. Right, right. Got you. After you have established that, yes, we are in a relationship to the point where I can break up with you, then yes, we're in a relationship. Bruh, stop. Just chill out. But how do you know that they're not just riding along in their coattails? But you're in a relationship. You said he was in a relationship for with her for five years. Yeah, five years, bruh. After six months, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't trust anything a person says for the first six months. If I meet you, you brand new six months until I'm like, okay, can really kind of catch him in lies and you know, yeah, you're, yeah or like I'm, you know, there's some some red flags, some behavior. If she didn't exhibit any of those to the point where you're like, yeah, I'm gonna keep you around. You're gonna meet my family. That's that's your girl. That's your girl at that point. That's that your sense. girl. Right. Five years is long enough where you should have you should have been considering marriage. I think. Uh, I think. I think. I like where you're at. Six months. I think is, is a valid time frame. Yeah. Like give them six months to like show they're not in it for the money. Show you that there's someone you want to keep around. Like meet your family potentially. Like yeah. you know. But even if you're not rich, I feel like six months for even if it's not even an amorous relationship, six months is good for for anybody. Right. Like a probationary period, because I, I don't know you. I don't owe you anything. You might be dirty. You might be. And there's so many different things that could be just like disqualifying factors. Well, I understand being a little cautious, especially if you're famous, uh, abundantly wealthy and yeah. you're concerned that people might only be trying to hang out with you for your money. I got you. Right. But. After six months, and you're like, yo, you're my girl. That's your girl. You got to take, you got to handle your girl. Because at that point, it just goes beyond just like, uh, hey, look, I want to show you that um, I'm a good guy and that, you know, we can maybe start a future. No, that's your girl. You're trying to establish a future. Right. That, that makes just, sense. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I, I get the, I get the tenant, the tentative nature at first, right? I do. But yeah, like, yeah, five years down the road, like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, a year down. If you had told me he dated her for a year and he and he didn't pay for anything, I'd be like, you you got to be kidding me. It wouldn't have got to, oh, my God, this dude is nuts. But it would have been like, you got to be kidding me. Right. Like, you well, you also, I mean, at some point, don't you want to show out a little bit for your girl, especially if you're trying to, like, lock her down and, like, be like, make sure she wants, like, like, hey, I want to take you on a trip, girl. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because like I was saying, you like, you take her in a private jet, spend $12 million to, like, go to, like, you know, whatever. But, like. Like I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you somewhere. I got you. <sighs> wow, I can't believe that, Jonas. You know, man, have you ever made a girl pay Dutch on a date? Yeah. You have. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I um. Have you ever had a girl pay pay on the date? Pay for everything? Yeah. 
Yeah, I actually have once. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I, yeah, I pulled out my wallet. And she was like, "No, no, let me get it." And I was oh. like, "No," and I was like, "And I was like, no, no, it's fine." She's like, "No, no, let me get it." I, you, you, you offer twice, I'm like, "Okay, I'm not gonna, fu- I'm not gonna start an argument about who's paying." Was that your, was that your ex wife? No. Oh, okay, I was gonna say because that's marrying material, right? <laughs> no, it was just some random chick. We hung out a couple times. <laughs> my my last major relationship, uh, my ex, uh, she, I remember we did go out one time, and she actually paid. It may have happened on more than one occasion. I think we even made of like switched on and off for a while there it was a long time ago so i don't yeah usually if i'm in a relationship i try to like you know i don't try to have i I try to have it very equitable so like a lot of times we'll talk about it's like yeah like one like we'll swap back and forth like hey i'll go out we'll pay next time you get it something like that like because i'm not trying to i'm not trying to put out the thing that i'm in a better position with you or that i'm just you can just milk me for whatever either. yeah that i'm not doing that like if uh i will at very least go dutch like hey let's just split yeah, the bill yeah you know what i mean like maybe the first like the first date a lot of times if i'm going out with somebody off of tinder or something like that i'll be like hey i got it you know whatever but like after that i'm like yeah we split in the bill <laughs> especially till we figure out if like if yeah. we're gonna be something and i have to admit is that i i, I me myself i definitely don't have like uh like a good balance for that. Like I myself, I'm old fashioned and where I'm like, yo, if I take a girl out, I'm paying. Like I don't care. I wouldn't even ask you out if I couldn't if I couldn't pay. Right, right. So I I'm, feel you. I'm gonna pay. And it's not even to try to look bad. I just feel like I should because my generosity runs deep. But on the same note, I've paid for meals so frequently where I've had a person just be like, Oh, where are we eating today? And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> right, right. Like, I didn't bring up a subject of eating. I'm, I don't know where you're eating today. Like, right. I don't like being, th- have an expectation of on Right, but if you're pay. with a girl and you start doing that every day, it, bec- they be- it becomes the expectation exactly. for that. Exactly. And that's what happened is that I was doing it so often where it was just like, I'm going here. Hey, you want to come with me? I got you. Right, right. Yeah, I yeah. got you. And it was just every day. It was like, I got you. And I did have it. But then that one time where she was like, where are we going to eat today? And I was like, where are we going to eat? <laughs> I was like, bitch. Yeah. Darrow. I looked that woman in the windows of her soul. <laughs> and I said, bitch. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, setting expectation. Like, so, you know, it's, I get where he's coming from. D- is he a little overbearing? Probably. That's a little much, my dude. That's yeah, that's much. that's like I mean, how what do you what do you want her to do? Cross hot coals on her hands and knees, like <laughs> prove you that she loves you? Like Jesus Christ, man! Like I and you, we've discussed a million times. Like if we were billionaires, how would you even know if a girl is really interested? It's like oh, now all the hot girls start coming out of the woodwork when before they even knew you had the money. Yeah, it's it one like, thing if like you change your physique and you used to be kind of like chubby or fat. And then you get fit as hell, and then chicks start coming out of the woodwork. Plastic surgery, right? right whatever that. you realize. Oh, my physical appearance is what's bringing people to me now. Yeah. But it's another like, oh, you found out I won the lottery. Now, like a million chicks are coming. out. I look exactly the same, and none of y'all want to talk to me now. But now, Which, you- honestly, aren't both of those just about as equally superficial? Yes. <laughs> so, like, really? Yeah. And that's and that's why I think when I do dating sites and things like that, I just put myself out there as me. Like, this is me. These are my pictures. This is what I'm about. Because I don't, it's but like, dude, I want you to like me for who I am and what I look like and what I'm about. But you got, you got to manipulate. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. But it, well, right. it, it is kind of, it is kind of sick is that it does seem is that I, I won't say women in general, but I'll say is that people are that superficial. Where and men to too. Be, and that's why I said people, yeah. not yeah. just women, but people are that superficial where money, because guaranteed, Jonas, if some rich girl hits me up, I'm trying extra hard on that date. You know, I'm just <laughs> How do you being know she's real. Rich, though? I'm just being real. What? How do you know she's rich? I mean, if I can tell, if like through conversation, she's like, "Oh yeah, you know, I uh, I'm an air traffic controller." Oh right, or, or she, figures. or she just she shows up. She's driving a Bentley, oh, yeah. and like she's got like a Gucci purse, oh, and like yeah. she's got you know, you're like, oh yeah, I'm eating, I'm eating her pussy that night. She she, <laughs> <laughs> she talks about going to the Cayman Islands with her family for a, a yeah. weekend jaunt. Yeah. You know, oh my head is gonna be bobbing up and down in this in the front seat of that <laughs> Mercedes <Bentley>. Benz, <laughs> that Bentley. 
<laughs> whatever. Yeah, dude. I feel, and if yeah. a girl is super hot, same thing goes. It's like where I don't know why we value those things over other things. Like I understand physical attraction, boom, bow, bow, and money, of course. Yeah, but, right. But like personality is paramount. Oh, it really is. And I try to I try to treat people the same, but you know, no, we I, all have our our, our un, <laughs> unconscious bias. Yeah. So, but anyways, that's all time we have for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com and subscribe. For Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.